Wow, I lit this candle, then went to make tea, came back to find this. This thing is spinning wildly. That's the lantern from Diptyque. I showed you that the other day, and this is the first time I'm using it. It's so pretty. I'm happy with it so far. Here it is from the top. Here's a close-up that might make you a little dizzy. It's very pretty. Look at it from all these different angles. We're in a standoff here, guys. Baron has just finished his breakfast. Roxy doesn't feel like eating hers this morning, but she also doesn't want Baron to get it, so she's standing there guarding it because she knows as soon as she walks away, he will run over and chomp it all down. We've been like this for a few minutes now. The outcome is going to be that Baron eats her food. Roxy, if you don't want it, you're going to have to get over it. See, she sniffs it, but then she doesn't eat any. Now she wants to bury it, I think. So he can't get it. There's no place to bury it, Roxy. You're just going to have to let him eat it. Baron won't make eye contact with her because he knows, everybody knows what's going on. <laughs> Look at Baron's shifty little eyes. Nope, nope. What if I take your bowl, Roxy, and I move it over to Baron so he can eat it? Are you going to eat it now? Okay, that's good. Ooh. He keeps barely moving his head like, oh, is this my chance? Is this my chance? Oh, no. Is this uh, almost? She just needs to back a little further off. He's looking at the cabinets. Oh my gosh, what a weirdo. These two are so funny. All right, this has to end. Here, Baron. Hi guys, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I'm not doing the whole spiel. Hold on, this is Vlogmas. Hi guys, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to Vlogmas day five. Got Baron right next to me. Yep, I'm coming for you next. I've got Roxy right behind me. Vincent's in the other room. You'll probably hear her whistling. And to be quite honest with you, I am filming this. You know, I film Vlogmas the day before you see it or the day before it goes live, who knows when you see it. So that can get a little confusing. And in this case, I'm filming at the end of the day on Sunday, where I have done a lot of pre-filming for some future Vlogmases. So I'm a little confused about what I've done today that's actually for today's video. So I'll try to remember and not tell you about things that are in future videos. My plan for today is to do a little shopping haul. Yesterday in Vlogmas day four, we painted dog bowls with my mom. You didn't see some of this, but she and I went to Target. I completely forgot to film there because I was busy spending time with my mother. So I'll show you what I got at Target. It's not much. And then you saw I went to Majuri, that jewelry store, and then I went to that French market. So I'll show you what I got there. Oh, and I have a handbag unboxing from Coach. This is a limited edition artist collaboration piece that I... I really never thought I would get my hands on because, well, we'll talk about it when I open it and you'll see what it is. And all that should take up a whole video. I tell you what, tell me I'm not alone here. I have so many things to do, not a complaint, just facts. And I try to be organized about it. Like I do what I can do. I have, you know, lots of planners. And every morning, one of the things I do to start the day is make a to-do list. And one of the things I've noticed lately, because, okay, I'm gonna go on a few tangents here. Black Friday sales at Erin Condren, I got caught up in those and I bought quite a few things you'll see when they all arrive, I'll show it to you. And since then, it's the end of the year. I'm thinking about planners. I sort of do a reset at the end of the year and the beginning of the following year. And I try to evaluate everything and set goals and priorities and all that. And one of the things with the to-do list each day is to set priorities. The problem with that is that I have so many things that need to be done that day. It feels more like I'm just completing a list of tasks and it doesn't feel like I'm reaching goals so much. Does that make sense? Do you guys relate to that? Because, you know, in addition to teaching and YouTube and all the things I want to accomplish with that, there's also just day-to-day -day stuff. Clean the bathroom, put the dishes away, 
do the laundry, take the dogs down, whatever it may be. And, and all those tasks, they add up and they take time. And the planning takes time. I would love to spend so much more time on planning because, God, I always say this, I, I just need a few weeks off because then I feel like I could sit down and just plan things out and get so much more organized and prioritize things better, maybe. And I feel like I have more to do than I can do. And I do my very best. And I do take some time to relax every day too because that's also necessary. And what is my point here? What am I trying to say? Not complaining at all because I've put this all on myself and I'm happy with it because I keep doing it. I just wish that I could feel like I was accomplishing more. Does that make sense? Surely a lot of you relate to that. Now from Target, what I went to Target to get is this. The Terry's chocolate oranges, but these are the ones with the pop rocks in them. OMG, my secret Santa at work got me one of these last year. I'd never had the Terry oranges at all, so I was introduced to that and my world was changed, but then the ones with the Pop Rocks, those are extra special. And if you've never had Pop Rocks, find some Pop Rocks and have some. I also got a dark chocolate orange. Several of these things are gifts, by the way. Some Sella's cherries, the best chocolate-covered cherries on the planet, or at least the ones that you can readily buy. This little bird ornament, hope that's in focus because I can't see it all. Vincent got that for someone. And then I got two of these. You know how you have the candy canes that have M&Ms or whatever inside? These, they're dog cookies. So there are two of these. I also got a sweatshirt, which I haven't tried on yet. It has puffy sleeves, and then the sleeves have pleats on the shoulders. Now at Majuri, that's these guys, they do diamond and gold jewelry. And they have some pieces that are sterling silver and vermeil as well. I'm gonna come closer so you can see the earrings I'm wearing. These are diamond huggies in white gold. I bought those over Black Friday, and when they arrived a few days ago, they're beautiful, but one of them wouldn't close well, so I took them into the store to see if they could exchange that one for one that did close well, and they did that for me, no problem. And it was so nice to be in the store because I'd been looking at their website and become familiar with a lot of the pieces and there are several pieces I would like to get and it was so helpful to see them in person and to be able to try rings on to be sure I knew which size I wanted and just all it's always good to see things in person and not have to order and then return. But while I was there, I noticed that it smelled wonderful. And it turns out they had an oil diffuser and they sell the diffuser and the scents and I bought a couple of the scents. It's just one scent, but I bought multiples of it because I really liked it. It's a collaboration they've done with Vitruvi, who makes diffusers. Now listen, I need your help with this because I have never done an oil diffuser. And the Vitruvi ones, I'm sure some of you are familiar with them, are very expensive. The one that they had in the store, it was gold. It was a special collaboration between Vitruvi and Majuri. It was almost $200 for the diffuser. And I know I've seen like $20 or $30 diffuser diffusers on Amazon. So before I go buying one, I have the oil, I still need a diffuser. You guys must have some experience with this. Help me out. What should I do? Is it worth it to spend the big bucks on the Vitruvi diffuser or can I get a cheaper one? Or is there something in the middle? And what's the difference between them? Is there a difference between them? What kinds of things do I need to be looking for in a diffuser? What kinds of features? Let me know. This is the scent that's the collaboration. It's the Sejour. And this is sold on the Majuri website. It's also sold on the the Vitruvi website and you can buy the gold diffuser there as well. And I'll try to link it below if I remember. I have been horrible about linking things. You guys try to keep me on top of that. If I've said I'm going to link something and you, you're looking for it, you don't see it, let me know and I'll, as soon as I can, link it. Because what I need to be doing is writing down what I need to link and I haven't been doing that. The list of ingredients is long so you can go to this link and read all that there. But I will read you this. It says it has top notes of bergamot and geranium and bottom notes of vetiver, vanilla, and frankincense. It's an earthy and indulgent scent, and it really is. It's, it's quite earthy. That's a good way to describe it. I would say it's a little more on the masculine side. I loved it enough that I bought two of them. It was just very sensual and warm and just really beautiful, calming. So that's what I got at Majuri. Now at the French store, this is Marcel Market. I think you already saw, I bought some tea. Because everything is imported from France, all the labels are in French and I don't know a lick of French. But this is an herbal tea. It has a lot of 
orange and florals in it. It has some lavender and they had three different teas and this is the one I got and I think maybe you can buy them on their website too. So the other thing I got at the French market is this notebook and is it going to show up? Yeah, there we go. It has this embossed print on the front of the Eiffel Tower with Paris around it, some of the buildings in Paris and the back is plain. And the pages, this is really interesting. I opened this up this morning and I had no idea because it was wrapped in plastic from the store. The pages are blank. And then in the front of the book, I've never seen this in another notebook. It gives you these cards. They're double-sided and they're different on each one. So this is a city. It's actually multiple cities and this must be the different cities that they emboss on the journals. Paris is in here, Sydney's in here, Moscow. I see Big Bend, so that would be London. And then something Asian. I don't know where that one is. So that's cool and I don't know if you'd use that as a coloring card or whatever, but the back of that is graph paper and then there's a dot grid and a lined page. And I was confused about what this was and then I figured it out. What you do is you stick the page behind the page you're writing on in the notebook. Can you see it? I hope it'll show up for you. You can see the lines through the paper or whatever you have the dot grid or the graph and you can write on the lines without having lines on your page or you could trace over the lines. It just works as a guide for you. And I thought how clever and that makes the notebook so versatile. So you don't have to settle for one that's all lined or all dot grid or whatever. Each page can be different. And I got the same one in pink for a friend for a gift. All right, it is time for the coach bag unboxing. I got this bag off the coach outlet it's a boutique bag though that has gone to the outlet probably still available now if you want to get one and the other bags from this collection are still there too it turned out to be I think not a very desirable collection not one that sold very well for coach oh that is so pretty I love the size of this I'll show it to you in just a second I'm gonna get all the wrapping off first definitely a keeper this was a one of their more high-end collections because it's an artist collaboration but it's also a pretty bold collection and I'm not surprised at all that a lot of people didn't like it and that it didn't sell well and that now it's at the outlet but I want to say it was something like 70% off I want to say this bag was $600 and I paid 200 for it or right around 200 it's an insane discount and then they had 25% off too, but I paid 200 something for it. This is so pretty. Coach and their packaging. It's gonna be Vlogmas day six by the time I get all this unwrapped. Okay, you ready for it? Here it is. This is the Coach Cash and Tote 22, so it's 22 centimeters. And the artist collaboration is with Tom Wesselman. Colors on this. So if you can't tell, it's a vase with flowers. It's very pop art work, and then this looks like a vase as well. The rest of the bag is that brown leather. I already have a cash and tote in the same brown color. That's also a special edition, but it's a larger bag. That's my pearl paint bag that was a runway bag. This is beautiful. It's embossed around each of the edges, very pretty. The cash and totes, they're so nice. The leather's so soft, it's smooth. This one has a magnetic closure there that does stay closed, but is very easy to open. Here's the inside. It has the little cash and chain there, the zipper pull. It's got the story patch. The inside is a textile. There's a pocket there for cards on the front. It has the little leather tag that says Coach and Wesselman. And then there's a D-ring on each corner because in addition to those top handles, it also has a crossbody strap. It's an adjustable crossbody strap. And here it is with the strap attached. That is so pretty. It has feet on the bottom. So I will link the Wesselman collection below from the outlet so you can go check it out because the deals are incredible and you can see if there's something that you might want. And I definitely need to thank my friend Devin Christopher here on YouTube, who's the one who told me about this. Thank you, Devin. Otherwise, I may not have known about it. And now it's advent calendar time. By the way, any of this stuff that I just showed you, if I can link it below, I'll link it below so it's easier for you to find. Tony's, day five. Milk chocolate. By the way, one of my lovely subscribers here, Kindness Matters, let me know that Tony's has a mission to end child slavery. And she sent me a video link, so I will try to remember to link that below as well. Do I really need to open the milk chocolate? We know what that tastes like, right? Jet Set Chocolates, day five. Ooh, it's all melted to the thing. Remember I said, oh no, it's just so melted. It's some kind of pumpkin mess. Remember I said we bought this a few months ago. I think it was late October. It might've been early November. 
trying to get it out of here. We bought it at a winery and then we sat outside at the winery. Sitting inside, it was crowded. There's chocolate everywhere. So we sat outside and the chocolate's melted in here. The lady warned us about that, but we don't listen. Mmm, I like that one. It has a cookie in the bottom and something else on top. And it has pictures of pumpkins on the top, so I'm guessing it's some kind of pumpkin. I'm excited to get to the jewelry calendar around day 12. Dog cookies. Someone asked me, they suggested that with the jewelry calendar, instead of waiting, I could do jewelry every other day. I thought about that, and the thing is, I will get so confused and messed up. I won't know what day it is, and I will just do it all wrong. Okay, let's see if she jumps with the pop. Nope, not this time. She's learning. Don't eat them both. No. There you go. Baron. There you go. And Baron. What a good boy. And that's it. For you guys. Now it's Vincent's turn. Box number five. Hello, Vincent. How are you? You have a new box for day number five. This camera does not like focusing on her. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put it on your shelf. There you go. You gonna go get it? Okay. See you later then. Bye. Bye. Bye.